weird. Also, sorry about the super weird lighting. It's like super late at night. And uh, I decided that I was going to film videos because I felt like it. So, it's happening. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the How I Read Books tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but... It seemed like a super easy tag to do, so I thought why not, and I'm gonna do it, so deal with it. I saw it over on Becca Awesome Book Nuts channel. It was created by some blog, which I will leave down below because I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I'll leave Becca's video down below as well. There's a total of eight questions that I'm supposed to be answering, so without further ado, let us get started! First question is, how do I find out about new books to read? I don't really use Goodreads or anything like that, that most booktubers do. I mostly just look at booktube videos and like, if the book looks interesting, then I'm like, hey, I want to read that book, so then I try to find that book at the bookstore. But like the thrift store, because you go on a budget. I say that like every video. Question number two is, how did you get into reading? There was this giant bookstore in Toronto called... I'm the world's biggest bookstore, I think, or something along those lines, but it shut down last year and every book was like a dollar and me and my mom decided to go one day and I bought like probably 70 books or more, I would say, like a lot of books and like I'm still systematically trying to, you know, get through all of those books that I bought. <laughs> like I still haven't read so many of them and it just kind of like made me want to read more. I've always been like a reader, but ever since then it's like... I'm a reader. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot more than I was. Question number three is how have your taste in books changed as you got older? I don't really think that my tastes have changed at all, really. I've kind of always been YA, and that's what I'm reading now. Been what I've been reading since the beginning of time, basically. I'm kind of like going into more new adult now, so I guess technically I'm like upgrading to the older version of YA, which is, you know, basically the exact same thing. Question number four is how often do you buy books? I buy books whenever I go to the thrift store. I'll buy at least five. Every single time. Without fail. I can't walk away from the thrift store without getting books. It's an addiction and it's a problem and somebody please help me. Question number five is how did you get into booktubing? I saw a video on Reagan's channel and I was like, hey, I want to do that. So I got my little iPhone out and I filmed a real bad video. Do not watch it because it is real bad and it is it is it is just it's just not a good time. So don't watch it. But basically, I saw a video and was like, I'm going to do that. So I did it. Question number six is how do you react when you don't like the ending of a book? I don't really dwell on it. I just kind of pick up the next book and I'm like, yeah, this one's going to be better. Unless it was a Legion. We're not talking about a Legion, but I hate a Legion. Why Veronica Roth? Why? That's really the only book I've ever like dwelled on the ending because why would you do that? Why? Question number seven is how often do you take a sneak peek at the end of the book to see if they live happily ever after or if there's a happy ending? And I have a really bad habit of always, always, no matter what book it is, I go to the last page and I read the last sentence of the book. I don't know why. It's like the worst habit in the entire world. I do it to my mom's books too. And she gets really annoyed at me because I'm always like, I'm going to tell you what the last sentence is and then she, she does not like it. But I don't know why, but every single time, every book. Question number eight is who am I going to tag? I'm going to leave that down below. Hint, hint, it's you. Tag your it. Do the video. Alright guys, so that was the how I read books tag. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Oh, the world's biggest bookstore or something like that? Shut up. And if this person doesn't stop messaging me on Facebook, I'm going to freak out.